Hello, and what is going on? Today I'm going to be showing you five houses you can make with piston doors. Let's get right to it. So I was playing around with glass panes, and when you step on it, it makes this cool little sliding glass door effect. So rather than blocks, I went with panes, and I did this little outline. So I figured, what would work best with this? And before I knew it, I had this. A very nice supermarket. As you can see, we have the road, the crosswalk, a little sidewalk path. And then when you get close, the sliding glass door is open, and now we're inside our supermarket. So very simple, very easy to make. And then we leave. Very nice, very simple supermarket. Number two is obviously going to have to be a secret Minecraft base dug straight into the mountain. And all you got to do is find yourself a good mountain just like this. Lots of places to hide one and pick a spot. Once you have your spot, you're simply going to dig a little tunnel. Enough where we can place the piston doors right here. Just like so. And once your piston doors are in, all you have to do is dig out the walls, whatever you want to make, and hide your base like so. Do a little, maybe a little carpet for flooring. Whatever you want to do, it's your base. And before you know it, we have a super secret hidden base. Can you guess where? <laughs> it's right here. Now, obviously, I didn't go full out decorating this room or anything. It's just to show you what you can and can't do while hiding this. So from the outside, it is completely undetectable while running by. I mean, I wouldn't even know that was there. But if you get close enough, you can kind of see the pressure plates on the floor. Next thing you know, you have your very stylish entrance into your very secret and secure hidden base. Now for this next one, I do have very high hopes for because I think it's going to turn out amazing. First thing we're going to do is we are going to build up just like that. And we're going to get this all set up. All the piston doors good and ready to go. And once you have your little piston door here, we can get started on doing the main project. <laughs> this one's going to be fun. Step one is going to be to hide all of our redstone just like that. So we're going to just square this off just so we have a nice even uniform thing to work with. Perfect. Just like that. We're going to leave that open obviously. Square that up and do the same thing on the other side. And just like that we have all of our redstone hidden and we can get started on the bulk of this project. So now this is going to be a surprise but all I'm going to do is I'm going to expand this out to the right size that I want. I think that's good right there. I think that's good. And we're going to make this a pretty much a giant square. And you'll see why I'm making this a giant square in one second. Alright, now that we have our little rectangle here, does anyone want to take a guess on what this could be? What you think I'm making? <laughs> guess now, before it's too late. But we're going to get started on the very next. And now here comes the next part. We're going to add six blocks that way no, yeah, six blocks that way and make another square here same size and same dimensions all the way around just like this uh, maybe a little maybe a little shorter alrighty so we have the basic frame of our second square now all we're gonna do is we're gonna fill in all the gaps Keep it nice and even, making sure to go all the way around, not missing a single spot. Whoop. Getting this all filled in. Alrighty, now that we have all the sides filled in, I have a very special project for the the face, I should say. Because if you haven't figured it out by now, I can't help you. There's clues, there's one right over there. <laughs> but yes, I'm making a giant sheep. So now we are going to... make the face, add in the eyes, hmm, 
I'm not a big fan of those eyes. Uh, we'll do it this way. Hmm. Somehow I still don't like it. Uh. Better, not great, but better. Hmm. Hmm. How do we make this sufficiently better? Hmm. Alrighty, I'm just gonna keep it like this. It's not the worst. I don't like the face too much, but it's definitely better than what we had before. I'm just gonna close this up as well so we don't accidentally miss that. Now comes the legs. Ooh. Now the legs itself should be fairly simple. It's just a matter of getting the dimensions right. Which that should be right. And then if I go, yep. All right, so there's two legs. And then three and there's the fourth leg uh you know not bad not great but not bad uh now we just need to do the skin and the hoof so now all we have to do is simply add the leg in the leg itself which i think is the easiest part out of this whole build And then finally, the hoof. The hoof is the last part. So now we just gotta do this three more times. Now, with all four legs done, we have our sheep. Look at that. <laughs> that is not a bad sheep, if I do say so myself. But now we have to work on making it our own secret base. Alrighty, and we have completely finished our sheep base. Now, you're probably wondering... Where's the piston door? And if you're paying attention, you know exactly where it is. <laughs> this is the entrance to our secret base. <laughs> well, as you can see, we definitely made it look nicer on the inside. We have chest storage and crafting tables over here. A giant furnace area on the other side, lanterns to give it that nice feel, and up in the head we have our beds and some more crafting tables just to make it look stylishly appealing. And I went with spruce and quartz stairs just to keep that sheep inside feeling going, but I just can't get over the piston butthole door. <laughs> <laughs> but that's it <laughs> now our next design is going to be super cool we're using iron blocks for this one and once again we're just going to make quickly make our piston door and then we'll get into the design alrighty now that our piston door is finished we can continue with design we went for an iron block design and the reason why is because we are actually going to be making a space shuttle which come on that does kind of look like you're entering into a space shuttle. That's definitely a, a nice door. So all we're going to do is we're going to cover this up, same as the other ones, and we'll get right back. Alrighty, now that we have this all covered up, we're going to get working on our rocket design. So I think I'm going to have it three like that. Yeah. Uh, and then we're going to repeat the same width as this. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's eight. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One. Oh, wait. There we go. One two, three. Alright, so that's going to be the basic width of our rocket here. 
which I think is going to be pretty awesome. Yeah, so now all we're going to do is we're just extend these and make this like a cylinder shape. Alrighty, so we have finished the cylinder, and now all we're doing is we're getting the top part of the cone set up before we finish the bottom of the cylinder for the rockets. Now we're just going to build this too high up and then start on our cone shape. So it needs to be two all the way around, just like so. Oh, that's three. I can't count, apparently. Alrighty, so we do have this nice cone shape going, so now all i got to do is build up. I'm going to keep the same style, but build up two on all the corners, and we'll do this one off camera. Alrighty, now that we have finished the cone of the rocket, we're going to extend this cylinder all the way down, and then we'll get back to you. But this design is not the best, but once again, it Alrighty, so the cylinder is finished, the top is finished, and a little base and rocket nubs are finished. Now we need to work on the wings. The wings is going to be the fun part here. So I think we're going to start somewhere in the center and then work our way down. So I'll show you that. Alrighty, so I think I got a good design for the wing. It's uh, it's interesting how I decided to do this. I did want to do like one up and across so we get like a good pattern. Like so. And since this is an even number block build, we have to double it up just so it's even on both sides. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna go around and do that on both sides. Alrighty, and the wings are done. Now all we gotta do is fill these in with some black wool just to keep the same color palette and contrast going. And once these are both filled, uh, <laughs> pardon, once these are both filled in, I will get you right back. Alrighty, and the wings are done, but we are not done with the rocket yet. I still want to do something, e like, super cool. Uh, we're going to space it by two. And we're going to go all the way down to the same block length that these are at. And I think we're going to do it two, maybe three wide. We'll do it two wide. Keep it simple and safe. Um, so, yeah, you'll see what I'm doing in one sec. Alrighty, and we have finished our little orange support rockets like you'd see. And now all we're going to do is add toppers and bottoms to both of those little rockets that we have behind it. Alrighty, and there we go. So now we have the main rocket or pretty much space shuttle. And then we have the two support orange rockets with toppers and bottoms on both wings there. Look at that. So now, just to add a little flair, we're going to grab some light blue wool and add a little sh uh, face shield thing, I guess you could say, to the top here. We'll do one here. And finally top it off right there. Hmm. Oh, one more. Almost forgot. Sorry, my bad. And there it is. Just something as simple as that as a little windscreen to the rocket gives it all the more dimensions, colors, and shapes. And then, obviously, we have our piston door right here. And a whole lot of work to do inside. But first, we're going to finish up the outside with a little sort of way to get onto it with a little crane or something. Now, all we're going to do is we are going to add a little way to get on, which is this loading bay keeping it all the same all the way across to the correct distance that we want to have this little support thing which I think I'll have right here and just like that we have our radio tower done is not the best looking design but then again we're not too worried about it because we have a rocket um so now we're just gonna grab some white wool to make our ladder and we're gonna pillow this up the back so we have a way to get up And we're going to bring this all the way to the radio tower. Boom, just like that. And then we're going to stop right here and make the walkway to our rocket ship. Just like that. Now you have a walkway in, and we have a way to get in. And now we all got, all we got to do is just grab some ladders, drop them down, and then we can get started on the interior. 
Alrighty, now that the lander's there, we can get started on in the interior. And, uh, we got our work cut out for us here. So let's jump right into it. And we have finished. You enter, you enter your piston doors into this main living area. We didn't do much decoration. I will leave that up to your imagination if you decide to do this. But here we have our glass floor that you can see through to the other level. And then we have our ladders, which you can go up here, which you have the nice open ceiling. And then if you go down, you have this nice open area. You can even do farms, you know, whatever you'd like to do, your bedroom, whatever floats your boat. It, it's, it is all up to you. Um, but th this is definitely one of the most time-consuming ones we've done so far. Just because of the sheer size of it, which is also why I didn't decorate it, so we can get to number five. But this is a solid number four. What do you th And number five, last but not least, we have the simple. Such an elegant design, really protects your stuff from people trying to get in. You know, and, and it's so hard for someone to now get my things. You know, I can just look. Look at all the rare things I can put in there. And anyone walking in, they just can't get it. I mean, wow. Honestly, I think this is the most time-consuming one. But if you dare challenge yourself, please do try it. Do try it, please. <laughs> oh, my God. So, please, let me know which one was your favorite. Was it the supermarket, sliding glass doors... We have cash registers, aisles, the whole nine yards. Very nice supermarket. Or maybe it was the sheep. The uh, the old back piston door. <laughs> was it this? Very tight space, but nice design. Was it our rocket? With these giant, giant pistons. <laughs> Perhaps you like the secret aspect of piston doors. One where no one can see unless they're inside. Or do you honestly just like the old fashioned? Let me know what you think. Which one was your favorite? Which one was your least favorite? Would you build any of these in your survival world? Please just let me know. And if you liked the video, make sure you like and leave a comment. And if not, I will see you all next time.